Hi, this is Derek from My Hosted Website. Um, sorry I've been away for such a long time. I've not done any videos for ages. Uh, in between, been busy, busy with client work and had a house move as well. So, for my last video, those of you that have been following and uh, watched my last video, thanks for the views as well. Um, the Oryx Pro laptop that I bought from Clevo, uh, sorry, from um, System76, although it is a Clevo laptop uh, initially, technically, um, sent it back. Really couldn't get on with it. Had a few niggling issues. Uh, Ubuntu 1604 at the time didn't help. Anyway, since then, I've gone through, I've looked at different laptops. I had a, a Dell XPS 15 inch, which I was really happy with, um, but seven days in, the screen went, died, had major issues with Dell trying to get a replacement, etc. In the end, I sent it back, got a refund. Then I went on and had a this Asus uh, GL502 uh, GTX 980M, 16 gigs of RAM, really nice machine. That was great, had that for a little while. I just couldn't get on with the keyboard. So just little niggly things about it. Ended up uh, selling the machine, got my money back pretty much, most of it anyway. And now I'm on to this. Uh, this I've got here today, uh, quick unboxing. This is the Alienware 13 inch uh, with OLED display, the R3. New machine, uh, waited probably about three, three nearly four weeks. Uh, it's just actually been delivered today. I also picked up on Amazon the Alienware graphics amplifier as well. Um, never had an Alienware machine before. So let's get through, unbox it and have a look at it and see see what we've got here. So you've got an outside uh, sort of packaging here, brown paper. I'm sure you've seen people unbox these online already. Let's just get through to the main part of the machine. There it is, the Alienware. Let me just check the camera, make sure you can actually see that. Oh, uh, yeah. So, Alienware box. Pretty much what you've probably already seen people with online. Um, let's, give it, let's open it up. Hopefully, I've got it the right way up. And now I haven't. Turn it this way. My little Anakin Skywalker guy, let's come get him out of the shop over there. Um, nice box, padded, nice foam inside the box. And surprisingly, I mean, there's no plastic or anything like that, you just get the bare machine. Um, again, which you've probably already seen, let's get it out of this foam. But it's, it's nicely packed, very dense machine. This is it, as you can see there. A lot thinner than the last version and previous Alienware machines that I've seen, which has really put me off in the past because I thought they were a bit too blingy. They had some really garish colors and I think this looks a lot more professional. Um, and I could actually go to a client site with this and not feel, you know, getting sheep, you know, feeling a bit sheepish about the machine. But um, this is quite nice. I like the feel of it. It looks really sturdy, well built. Um, let's have a look around the machine. Sorry about the camera at the moment. I'm just using my phone to record this. Um, as you can see on this side, we've got a, a USB, one USB free slot. And that is a USB-C slot there. Um, on the other side, which is the left-hand side, we've got another USB slot. And you've got headphone and microphone jacks there. And what I like about this, which is really good, is all your IO connectivity is on the back of the machine. So you've got your Ethernet port there, mini display port, HDMI 2 uh, 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 display port there. Sorry, HDMI 2.0 port there. Um, and your USB-C with Thunderbolt uh, connection there. And the proprietary Alienware graphics amplifier port and your power so that's quite good two massive fan um, vents either side of those uh, io ports and that's what the machine looks like in the back 
you've got a lot of fan outlets on the back of the machine um, and that's it really nice inside the packaging Alienware poster thing and the obligatory manuals and probably warranty stuff and that kind of stuff there standard affair and that's all oh what no that's not all we'll see what we do about the power supply power supply is in here it's not as big as i thought it was going to be actually but you know that's it's not too bad it's not too bad at all okay so power so we'll come back to machine in a second so let's just get the packaging out of the way and let's move on to the graphics amplifier which is here have a brown paper let me just get the scissors and cut through this There's a graphics amplifier. Uh, let's get this open. proprietary cable which is nice looks like really nice quality braided cable and what I liked because I did actually look at getting the uh, the, the razor blade the uh, razor blade uh, what's it called the shield shield what's the machine called the small 12 inch razor blade laptop along with the razor core but after seeing a lot of issues and little niggly things and, and, and the fact that it's only a dual core processor I was like yeah I actually ordered it and actually cancelled my order when I saw the OLED 13 inch Alienware so I decided to go for that um yeah anyway stop me rambling on you just get the cable for the amplifier and power supply and the actual box itself I'll pull it out and also with this box apparently the performance is a lot better than the Razor Core. So it's a bit lighter than I thought this was going to be actually. It's bad. Um, so it's all in the little brown sort of covering bag. Slide it out. So this is the, let's see if you can see that camera. This is the Razor, the Razor. This is the Alienware amplifier. So as you can see, you've got that's where you slot your, your graphics card, <coughs> dual slot for your graphics card. There's four USB ports on here, so you can connect up your keyboard, mouse, uh, etc. And obviously the Alienware uh, proprietary uh, cable plugs in there. And your power supply goes there. So this should just slide open and you lift the top. So it's a bit tricky. There we go. A bit stiff and that's what it looks like little power supply in there slot your graphics card in and away you go <coughs> right, i've got a 980 ti actually that i can try with the system although the anywhere uh, machine has got a obviously has got uh, a 1060 in it so let's get back to the computer and i'm just going to adjust my camera let's see if we bring it down here so now you can see the machine and what it looks like. I'm going to open it up. That's good. One hand opening, which is good. And that's the computer. Sorry about the glare, but obviously you're gonna. It's one of the things you're gonna get with this now. Is uh, you know, see how bad I how I can live with the glare that I might get off this machine. But let's power it on. See if it's got any power.
Sorry about the video quality and the audio. Don't know how this is going to come out until I start editing it, but this is a quick uh, unboxing here. There you have it. That is the Anywhere 13R3 with OLED display. I've got to say, the camera doesn't really do justice, but the screen from here, just from looking at this on the blue, is looks pretty nice. So I think this is going to be really good. And I'm loving the keyboard here as well. Really nice. Um, I'll do a probably follow-up video once I've got this set up and, and run some tests, etc. And I'll tell you how I get on. Okay, that's it for now. Uh, see you soon.